Good morning friends. Welcome to today's Music Sense class. Did you learn the activities and assignments? Do you read the textbook? Okay. Today we are moving to a new topic. Friends, for this corona and online classes, we have many fast right? What are fast? Yes, fast. Sports fast. Day fast, etc. Do we participate in sports fast? Yeah, some of you have participated in sports fest. What are games are there in that? Yeah, running, jumping, then javelin throw, short put and many other. Do you participate in running? Okay, okay, okay. After running 400 or 800 meters, you'll be tired. And your friends, or our teachers, or parents, you may want see powder. I know, that you, I know that you all like that powder. Do you remember what is that powder? Do you remember? Yeah, glucose. Why they are giving us glucose? After running, we'll be tired, right? To get the power, they give us that glucose. Do you know what is that power called? That power is called energy. Friends, I think that now we all get to this topic. And this topic is energy, energy and it. Sources. So, shall I move to the topic? At first, we can say, what is energy? Friends, I will ask a question. Listen it carefully and answer, okay? For picking a pencil or for moving a desk, I want more energy. For picking a pencil or for moving a desk, I want more energy. Tell me. Yeah, you are correct. For moving a desk, I want more energy. So I can say that the energy used by our body is according to the work that we do. The energy used by our body is according to the work that we do. And we require energy for all our works, whether it is playing, studying, or running. We want energy. So let's define energy as energy is the capacity or it is the ability to do work. Energy is the capacity or it is the ability to do work. And the interesting thing is everything gets warm, cools down, move, grow, makes a sound, things in any way and uses energy. I'll show you one example. All of you stand up and rub your hands together like this. Rub. Yes, now what happened? What happened? Yeah, your hands get warmer, right? Why your hands get warmer? When we rub our hands, the heat energy is produced. That's why our hands get warmer. Then, what about the piece of paper sitting here? It contains energy, but it is not using it. It contains energy, but it is not using it. So, what is energy? Yeah, energy is the capacity or it is the ability to do work. Energy is the capacity or the ability to do work. Now let's see sources of energy. Friends, from where we get energy? Do you know that? Yeah, we get energy from the food we eat. So the first source of energy is food. Food contains chemical energy. And when this chemical energy reacts with the oxygen that we breathe, we get energy to burn. Food gives us energy. However, different types of food gives us different amounts of energy. So the first source of energy is food. Now fuels. What are fuels? Substances that liberate heat or produce energy on burning the mark of fuels. Substances that liberate heat or produce energy on burning the mark of fuels. Examples. Yeah, you are familiar with some of you. What are they? Yeah, petrol, diesel, oil, etc. Then, for what purposes we use this? Yeah, for cooking food. Then, for running motor vehicles. For many other purposes, we use fuels. Now, fossil fuels. What are fossil fuels? Yeah, you may have heard the word. Fossils. So what are fossil fuels? Fuels such as 
coal and petroleum which were formed million and million years ago from dead plants and buried animals under the ground are called fossil fuels. Fuels such as coal and petroleum which were formed million and million years ago from dead plants and buried animals under the ground are called fossil fuels. Examples As I say, petroleum and coal. This petroleum is formed from buried animals and the coal is formed from dead plants. Over millions of years, high temperature and pressure transform the buried organism and plants under the ground to petroleum and coal. Do you know that from this petroleum we make those petrol, diesel, oil, LPG etc. Then do you know what is LPG? Yeah, liquid petroleum gas. We use this for making our food. And this is a gaseous form of fuels. Now look at the petrol. Petrol is a liquid form of fuels. So these fuels are classified into three. Solid fuels, liquid fuels and gaseous fuels. Now look at that board. What is that? Now there is some names of fuels. These fuels are firewood, spirit, LPG, kerosene, dry dung, diesel, CNG, Charcoal, petrol, hydrogen, peat, coal, petroleum, oil, biogas, wood pellets, alcohol, and natural gas. What you do, do is classify these fuels into solid fuels, liquid fuels, and gaseous fuels. This is the first strategy for you, so you all should do it. Okay? Then, friends, do the fuels burn on their own? You may have seen that your mothers and grandmothers growing in the kitchen for burning. So, for burning, air is required. The oxygen in the air helps for burning. I will show you guys through an experiment. So, friends, for this experiment, we want a candle, a lighter, and a glass tumbler. First, let's light the candle. Place on a desk. And all the things are available now. So you all should do it, okay? Now take the glass tumbler and place it upside down on the candle. And let's observe it. Yes. Now what happened? What happened? Yeah. The flame. When we close the candle with the glass tumbler, the air flow and the oxygen flow is limited. Once all the oxygen is exhausted, that's why the flame of the candle put out. Okay? So friends, these sources of energies, fuels, are likely to disappear in the future and can't be replaced after the use. So we call these non-renewable or exhaustible sources of energy. These sources of energy, fuels, are likely to disappear in the future and can't be replaced after the use. So, we call this non-renewable or exhaustible sources of energy. Uh, so, what happens if we know this judiciously? Now, there will be no fuel for using. And for making energy from the petrol, we have to burn food from the fuels, we have to burn them. By burning, a lot of coke and gases will be produced. And this, by this coke and gases, our environment will be polluted. For making firewood, we have to cut the trees. By cutting trees, there will be deforestation also. So, we will have to find some other sources of energy. And now, here are some alternative, renewable, inexhaustible sources of energy. So, first we can see solar energy. What is solar energy? The energy that we get from the sun is called solar energy. The energy that we get from the sun is called solar energy. We get light energy and heat energy from the sun. And he has studied that green plants trap the light from the sun and prepare their food 
by the process by the process photosynthesis and we use this uh, this plant for making our food so we can say that for food we depend plants as directly and indirectly our sun for food we depend plants as directly and indirectly our sun then how can how can we produce energy from the sunlight look at this picture what is that yeah it is a solar panel this solar panel contains small small solar cells and this solar cells has the power to convert the sunlight to electricity that's how we make energy from the sunlight and now here some we have a lot of equipment that working on solar energy some of them are here so they are solar calculator solar cooker solar heater solar street lamp etc now let's see wind what is wind moving air is called wind this moving air has energy this energy is obtained by the machine wind mills so yes in wind mills yeah if you go to the east like palakkad and tamil nadu you can see a lot of wind mills right okay then how can you get energy from the wind mills when the wind blows our wind mills wings start to rotate and from this rotation we pump water and we make electricity how can we make energy from the wind yeah when the wind blows our wind mills wings start to rotate and from this rotation we pump water and we make electricity next one is water how can we get energy from water when the water flows or falls from a specific height energy can be generated when the water flows or falls from a specific height energy can be generated and you have seen dams right from the dams we use a lot of water and we use this water for making hydro electric city friends there are some other sources too some of them are geothermal tidal and biomass geothermal is the heat within the earth tidal is the energy produced by the surge of ocean water by the rise and the fall of tides biomass yeah you may have heard this word biomass biomass is the energy from from organic waste so friends now let's take a quick quick look to our today's class at first we have seen what is energy what is energy yeah energy is the capacity or is the ability to do work energy is the capacity or is the ability to do work then sources of energy what are the first source of energy food food contains chemical energy and when this chemical energy reacts with the oxygen that we breathe we get energy to work so the first source of energy was food then fuels substances that liberate heat or produce energy on burning the mark of fuels then fossil fuels yeah fuels that are coal and petroleum which was formed million and million years ago from that plant and buried animals under the ground are called fossil fuels then has said it why we are calling this non renewable or exhaustible source of energy here why we are calling this as that yeah these sources of energy fuels are likely to disappear in the future and can be replaced after the use so we call this non renewable or exhaustible sources of energy then yeah alternate sources of energy what was the first one yeah solar energy the energy that we get from the sun is called solar energy and yeah for food we depend plants as directly and indirectly of us sun then then here uh, see some equipment that working on solar energy next one yeah wind moving air is called wind this moving air is this moving air is energy is obtained by the machine wind mills how yes said it that how yeah when the wind blows our wind mills starts to rotate and from this rotation we pump water and we make electricity next one water how can we make energy from water when the water 
water flows or falls from a specific height, energy can be generated. When the water flows or falls from a specific height, energy can be generated. Now look at the table. What are they? Yeah, there are some sources of energy. What should you do is classify the sources of energy to non-renewable and renewable sources of energy. Now look at this. What are they? Yeah, there are some objects and sources of energy. This object you have forgotten what source of energy they are. So, help that object to find their source of energy by drawing a line from the object to their correct source of energy. Okay? Friends, I think that now we all get a basic idea of energy. Let's see in the next class. That's